Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Phantom Coin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you get up and running faster as well as keep more of the coins that you mine. So before we dive into the video today, I always do like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, taking a look at what's going on in the market as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, please feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the video then. But overall, crypto's down about half a percent today to a total market cap of $2.17 trillion. As we look across the day, you're going to see a lot of red pretty on par with the overall market, but there is still a few bits of green such as Tron and you know, scrolling a little further down, uh, you see a few more here uh, on the week chart. So definitely nice to see. I think we are still just gearing up for the bull run. Um, of course, earlier this year was the Bitcoin halving and historically October, November, December time frame after a halving is when a bull run kicks off. So I do believe we are still preparing for that. But of course, today's topic is Phantom Coin FTM. This is the coin that we're going to be looking at how to mine today. So taking a look here, you can see it's priced at about 67.8 cents, which is up almost 3% today. Now looking at the all time chart here, you can see that back in 2021, this coin was over $3 a coin. So that is over $2 per coin of profit that you would make getting coins now at the 67 cent price. So how do you start mining this coin? Well, we're gonna be using a site called Unminable. Now, the link is in the description below. I do recommend using that link because it will save you 25% on your pool mining fees, which I'll get into in just a little bit. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is come over to Unminable and locate the FTM Phantom Coin and choose your algorithm. Now, to pick the best algorithm, what I would recommend is go out to a site called whattomine.com, enter in the specific hardware for your PC. They support CPU and GPU uh, as well as the site, so that'll tell you what's best for your specific hardware. Now, I will say that if you have relatively new hardware, um, you know, NVIDIA or AMD hardware, uh, you're most likely going to want to use Kapow. So with that being said, what you're going to want to do is then select get started with our wizard. Go ahead and select basic. Advanced is there if you want to uh, be more specific with your region, port, things like that. But basic is good enough for most people. I'm going to be doing this tutorial based off the GPU section, but please feel free to choose CPU if you are going that route. Here's where you'll you know, reselect your mining algorithm. Again, I'm going to go with Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware. And here's where you will choose your coin. Now, as you can see, there are almost 100 or maybe even over 100 coins here to choose from. Of course, we're looking at Phantom today, but please choose what you're most interested in. Now, with that being said, when you go to enter in your wallet address, please double and triple check your address. Make sure it is with a compatible wallet for the coin you are mining, in this case, Phantom. As you can see, it says, hey, you know, this looks good. If I delete this six here at the end, it says, hey, you know, this isn't going to work. It doesn't uh, look like a valid address. But if I replace that six with a five, you can see that everything says it's OK to go. So please do keep an eye on your copy and paste because once you start mining to it if you mine to the wrong address you will not be able to get paid out so once you've done that you can go ahead and say next at this point you are at the final screen before getting started actually downloading the files and this is where you can enter in a referral code as you can see i have my code baked into the link that's in the description uh, capital b capital t bitcoin dash tips now I do recommend you use this. It helps both the channel as well as you. Um, I do get a little bit of kickback from this, um, so I do appreciate it if you use the code. But you will also appreciate it if you use the code because like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you do save 25% on your pool mining fees. So here on Unminable, there is a 1% 
pool fee for all coins that you mine. Meaning that if you mine 100 FTM coins, you will pay one of those coins to Unminable. It doesn't matter if FTM is 60 cents or $60. It doesn't matter if you mine it in a day or in a year. You will always pay that one coin for every 100 you mine. Using this code reduces that down to 0.75%, meaning you will keep an additional 25% of the coins that would have otherwise gone to Unminable. So please feel free to use that code or continue without it if you wanna pay a higher fee. But at this point, you are at the final step where you will download the miner program and the configuration file. Now, I personally like to use Gminer as I've had a lot of good luck with it. Not to say that any of these other miners are bad, but this is just the one that I've always used and I've never really had any issues with it. So I like to recommend this. Plus it works for both Nvidia and AMD GPUs, whereas some of these only work with one or the other. So if you do upgrade your system in the future, you are kind of protecting it from a software standpoint if you do plan to continue mining. But what you're gonna do is select download miner files. This is gonna take you to the GitHub page where you just select this Windows 64 zip file. This will download and what you'll have to do is extract those files. Please make sure you don't miss the extraction step because if you do, you will not be able to mine and you will get errors. So if you are running into issues, make sure you extract the files. Once you've done that, come over back to Unminable and select this blue download.bat file. As you can see, Google gave me a warning here that says, hey, this is unverified, we've blocked the download. You are gonna have to click on this and say, download unverified file. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, please simply select delete from history. Unfortunately, this is a part of mining. It's not just an FTM thing, it's not a mobile thing, uh, it's not just a Gminer thing, it is across the board. So I would recommend checking out some of my other high paying faucet videos where you don't have to download anything to your computer if you're not comfortable doing this. But if you are, please go ahead and select download. And as you can see, it is right here in my downloads. What you're gonna wanna do is drag and drop this file into the folder that you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have all these files that were part of the minor download from GitHub. And down here at the bottom, I have my unminable FTM Kapow gminer.bat. At this point, you are ready to start mining. So double click this file to get started. Now you will see when you first start this, you will get another pop-up again. Just say more info and run anyway. Again, if you're not comfortable doing this, please simply say don't run and just delete the files from your computer. But if you are comfortable with that, go ahead, say run anyway. And as you can see here, we're up and running using my NVIDIA RTX 3070 in less than 10 minutes. We're about eight minutes and three seconds into the recording here. And that included some uh, looking at the coin market cap and intro. So very, very cool. Um, now just a few things I do like to mention here about unminable and mining crypto in general. It does take about 15 to 30 minutes for the stats to start showing up on the website. You can go back over to unminable at any time, go under addresses and paste in the FTM address you used and it will give you stats. It takes time for these to show up. Um, they say 10 minutes here. I always say just give it about a half hour. If you're still not seeing it, something may be configured incorrectly. And on the other side, when you are ready to be done mining, just find this CMD window here and select the close button, the red X. You might be thinking, why am I telling you how to close a window? Well. I've seen the question before and I've actually seen it firsthand. It's a little strange here with Unminable, but when you stop the miner, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments here on the website for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. I don't know why it does that. It's not the worst thing to continue getting paid in my opinion, but it has led some people to believe they are still mining. So just know that if that CMD window is fully closed out, you are no longer mining. So with that being said, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Again, the link to Unminable is down below, and with that link comes the referral code, which is Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. 
If you do run into any issues along the way, please feel free to leave a comment on this video. I'm more than happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running to the best of my ability in the comments section. So please like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.